Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be dealing with this uh, Ford uh, S-Max, this particular model is 2009 and uh, what we're going to do on this one is, uh, because the engine is running uh, really rough, so we're going to do a compression test. So here is the kit which we're going to use. So this is the 1.9 uh, TDCI engine. Uh, so for the diesel uh, engine um, the normal compression should be between uh, 300 and 500 uh, that's uh, on each cylinder so that should be the normal compression on each cylinder so each cylinder should show on the gauge here uh, 300 to 500 psi between that and uh, for the petrol engine it should be between uh, 120 psi to 175 psi so because it's a, a diesel one so we're gonna uh, check the diesel readings okay so we're just gonna crack on with it so we've got the kit here uh, so we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the glow plug off on each piston each cylinder and uh, that's how we're gonna check the compression test just going to take the cover off there we go so we're gonna take the glow plugs off and uh, check the compression from uh, glow plugs right there we go i've uh, taken the glow plugs off so all four glow plugs have been taken off so what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert this extension into the each uh, right here we go i've inserted the plug in so now i'm gonna push this uh, nozzle in here like this and now just gonna reset the meter I already reset it so just gonna crank it up to get the reading Right, we're gonna go back to the engine compartment. We're gonna have a look at the reading here. So the reading is around about 350 psi, which is perfectly fine. So you just repeat the same procedure on all the uh, rest of the cylinders, and uh, that's gonna give uh, you the idea uh, what's the compression like on uh, your motor. So it's a fairly easy job um, so basically you take the glow plugs off and then uh, choose uh, whichever whichever connector you need just match the thread and the size so this should be same size as your glow plug thread and uh, so that's what that's how we got the reading here Just gonna show you 350 psi and here is the button to reset it reset the reading and then you just repeat the same on the rest of the rest of the cylinders right so I've inserted the connector into the second cylinder I'm just gonna insert the connector in like this as fully in just gonna reset the meter by pressing this button here and now we're gonna run the 
engine again there we go I'm just gonna show you the reading this one is 350 as well just gonna reset the gauge by pressing this button and then I'm gonna pull the connector off there we go just gonna insert the connector into the third piston now just gonna tighten a bit Okay. I have to remove some of the injector pipes, the diesel supply line pipes, to gain more space. So I have to remove this one here, which is uh, going into injector number four, so that I can get to this uh, slot here There we go, that's fully home. Just gonna reset the gauge to zero. And I'm gonna repeat the procedure again. There we go, so this is the reading for piston number Three. cylinder number three which is uh, all okay so one more to check which is the fourth cylinder so just gonna connect the gauge to piston number four this one is a bit tricky There we go. So the gauge is already set to zero. So just gonna rest the gauge here. I'm gonna check the compression by turning the ignition on. Let's see the reading on this one. So, right, so this is uh, 375, which is good enough. So the compression on this car is all good. So there, are, there isn't any loss of compression on this uh, Ford S Max. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all the components back. I hope this video is gonna help you fix your issue with your car. Uh, so this was the gauge we got this one from uh, from Amazon for 40 quid okay so thank you very much for watching the video